Warning, this is a family-friendly radio. Children of all ages are welcome to participate. This is my grandpa's Steel Cashy Talk Show. news. Hello, this is Hiker James. And Crazy Critter 1966. And we're on our episode number 30 this week. Yeehaw! Yeah, yeehaw. Um, 13 for you, about being on the show. Oh, I can't believe we made it that long. Yeah, yeah, I didn't think you'd make it to the first one. Uh, I figured the first <laughs> one, maybe, maybe two months, I figured I'd be done. Yeah, well, that changed, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I had a little, little poll going on and uh, asking people if you should stay on there or not, and uh, 100%, 100% yes, so. Oh, why? <laughs> well, you, you know, we're doing all right, though. I think so. Yeah, we, we've got quite a few listeners, and there's been a lot of listeners, a lot more listeners on there since you've been on. I don't know what what we can do to get more, though. Hmm. Mm, okay. Ask people to share more. There you go. I've got a. I've got an idea this week how we might get some emails. Oh, you think so? I think so. I hope uh, so. We, we've been trying this for thirteen shows. <laughs> trying, not working so far. No, it hasn't. So, anyway, let me run this by the listeners and see what we can come up with on that. Okay. Um. I have found a generator that will make word puzzles. Okay. Word search. And I need words to put on this word search. Geocache related. Yeah, geocache related. Uh, I made one up myself and there was, let's say, 21, 21 words mm-hmm. on, the, on the list. And that would make one one page um, word search puzzle, and it was it was fairly not real easy. That <laughs> it goes up and down, left and right, forwards and backwards. The backwards is fun. Yeah, that was fun. But I sat here and worked it out after I made it. Or just because you you put your words in there yourself, don't mean you're going to be able to figure it out any easier because you're not. No. But, they have to add their own little letters. Yeah, so this is uh, going to be called Geocaching Puzzle. And by Hiker James and Crazy Critter 1966. Yay! Yay! From com. So all we need is for <coughs> people out there, our listeners, to send us words. Geocache related words. Lots of geocache related words. Yeah, because we're going to make a bunch of these. Yeah, we are. But anyway, um, if we, uh, when we get these emails with the words on them, we're going to make up this puzzle and we're going to send one to each person that uh, sends us an email. So, what we're going to do is you send us the words and we will reply back to that email address with a PDF file, which will have it on that PDF file. And uh, then you can copy it off, print it out. You could uh, print it out and have it right there if you want. So anyway, don't forget when you send us this email to put ACB in the subject line. That's right, the subject line. Because otherwise it'll go to our junk mail and I don't open my junk mail. Uh, let's see, what else was it? Oh, yeah, and, and we want to know your geocaching name and where you're listening from. We're going to try that yeah, one again. We put, Anybody? We're going to put all that into one little email. There you go. 
and send it. Yeah, just type uh, just type uh, however many words you want. It doesn't matter if you want to type five. If you want to type 105, we'll use them. And uh, we'll kind of mix them up and blend them in with uh, the rest of the emails, whatever words they use. And if we run across one word three or four times, we'll just uh, use it once. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we might put it in another puzzle. Well, that would work so, too. As a backup number or backup word. So, what do you think? Uh, send them emails to us at Radio Talk Show 2013 at gmail.com. I finally don't have to look at that to say it. All right. <laughs> we getting there now. Yeah. So, oh, don't forget to say hi to us, too, when you send that email. Say hi. Okay, that works. <laughs> say hi. Say hello. Hello. I mean, you know, I mean, you've already got the mail opened up, and you're typed it in, and you got all your words in there, you might as well say hi along with it. There you go. Geocaching name and where you listen from. And don't put your living room or your kitchen. Oh, <laughs> I bet you. Okay. Yeah, put uh, put at least the uh, the state. Yeah, exactly. We'd like to have the city of the state and state or country, the Providence or wherever it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can picture now opening one up. Where are you listening from? My living room. Um, what state in that living room? My iPhone. Oh, uh, yeah, there you go. On 74 South. <laughs> no, we need. We would like states, countries, cities, yeah. whatever. That's nice. It's just nice for us to know where we're getting out to. Yeah, exactly. What was the name of that country? Finland. Yeah. We uh, we had a caller. Oh, well, not caller, but we had a listener that sent us an email to win a free travel bug from Finland. Mm-hmm. And... Well, that's pretty cool to know that we're getting... Way, way out, out there. there, yeah, and uh, then we've had one from Wyoming. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, the UK, UK, uh, Michigan, Michigan, two, All over two the place. of them from Michigan, and it's just you know it gives us an idea. I mean, one of these days, if we get enough emails, we'll make a map or hang a map, put a little pin push pins on it oh there you go uh from where our listeners are calling or where our listeners are listening from okay people you got to help us out now because we can't put little pins in the map if you don't tell us where you're listening from we want to see lots and lots of pins on that map if we had a a folder what do you call that a uh, accordion accordion map we could put it right there on the on the blinds and when we pulled our blinds down oh, there would yeah. be the map <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, that's that's our idea, and that's what we're gonna go with now. For now, one of these days, we'll might we might be able to give something away. Mm, maybe we'll try. Yeah. Of course. You know, if not, well, we can at least keep asking you to send us an email. So, send us an email. Okay. <laughs> That, that's almost got 10 minutes of their attention there, so I think it's about time to move on to something else. All right. Don't forget that email address, Radio Talk Show 2013 at gmail.com. And you can say hi to Crazy Critter 1966. You can say hi to Hiker James or both of us. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Hi, people. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we're going to do here now. All right, let's go to one of my emails here. And we have an email from, well, Geocaching. And I'm probably sure most people have already had one in their email, but some people didn't sign up for information from them uh, weekly, weekly what's next things here. So I'm going to go through this one, and it's called The Future of geocaching is powered by you get ready 2015 is going to be a big year for geocaching we've been hard at work developing new features upgrading existing tools and squashing bugs and it's all been inspired by you well i hope they didn't smash too many bugs mm, poor bugs <laughs> wow 
and uh, and it says that in, in the geocaching community is full of experts in all aspects of geocaching. That's why we've been seeking out advice, requests, comments, questions, feedback, and more from the worldwide geocaching community. Stay tuned to what's next for geocaching for the latest updates and news release. Learn more about how we're working with the geocaching community to make geocaching.com and our apps better and find out how to get involved in the geocaching blog. And you can find that on geocaching.com and well geocaching.com slash blog. I, I think that would get you there. We'll check that out and see if it's real quick. Yes, I was right. <laughs> How many times I've come back on there and said that? Um, geocaching. dot com slash blog, and they have a lot of different articles on there. They pretty much add new ones every week, and this week it, it says sunshine and pancakes. Panakakai, I think that's the way you pronounce it. Pancakes Earth Cash. Uh, that's a geocache of the week. That's over in New Zealand. Oh. Can we go? Well, I think... I don't I don't think I've got uh, uh, waterproof tires on my car. Oh. I, I'm pretty sure you have to drive across some water somewhere to get there. I always have thought. Yeah. Well, maybe next time we need tires, we'll get some waterproof tires. There you go. So anyway, they uh, they talk about that and they got some pictures on pictures on there. The GC code for that is N98H. It's a two difficulty and one terrain, and it goes and explains why this is a geocache of the week, and then it tells you what geocachers are saying. Another photo. Wow, that's a cool looking photo there. All these rocks with lines in it. I guess where the water level. Yeah. Oh, okay. Up and down on. Oh, that's that's really nice. Got to go there and look at them pictures. And then it wants to know at the bottom there, which Earth cache you found has the most inc incredible views. Tell us and post photos in the comments. So you're a part of geocaching.com/slash blogs. If you're uh, signed up for geocaching.com and thought we'd just throw that one at you because there's a lot of interesting stuff on there each week. We'll be back after this commercial. Geocachers, check it out. FTF Geocacher Magazine. The magazine for geocachers written by geocachers. FTF offers practical advice, hints and tips, cacher bios, and milestones. Geocaching events, trail tales, and all things geo related. Check it out at www.ftfgeocacher.com. This part of Geocaching Talk Show is sponsored by Cash Advance. For a full line of geocaching needs, visit their website today. They are an official ground speak distributor and they have everything you need for geocaching supplies. That's www.cash-advance.com. Looking for a geocaching adventures? Go to geofleas.com, spelled F-L-E-A-Z. Along for the ride. Travel fleas are now geofleas. Order your geofleas today and go along for the ride. With over 6 million geocachers around the world, it can be hard to leave your mark. Personalize your geocaching experience with geofleas today. To find out more about geocaching, go to geocaching.com. At the top left of the page, go to Learn and click on Geocaching 101. And from there, you will find all the questions and answers for what geocaching is all about. Then you can sign up as a free member or as a premium member and get started as a new geocacher and enjoy the worldwide treasure hunting game wherever you are. That's www.geocaching.com. All right, we're back, and oh, you didn't know we went anywhere, did you? I'm always gone, but... Well, that was a surprise. I didn't even say we was going to take a break. I just said, uh, 
and then it went right into the commercial so <laughs> maybe save a little time there have more time to talk about our geocaching this week okay what are we going to talk about this week well all our geocaching so yeah uh, we'll we'll start it and end it and hopefully we got enough time okay so we're going to start it now okay that's all we did this week <laughs> <laughs> that was quick <laughs> We, there's a lot of rain down here this week. Showers off and on. Cold weather. Oh, my. <laughs> Cold weather. It only got up to, what was it today? It only got up to 77. Ooh, that's so cold. <laughs> <laughs> like a Flor- Flor- Floridians say... The temperature six seventy degrees. You dig out my long winter jacket. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've been wearing mine. I haven't. Ah, uh, boy, I will tell you what. I well that when was it? Um, sometime this week in the beginning of the week, I got up early. It was like five o'clock for some reason, and I got me a cup of coffee and I went outside, sat down there at the picnic table, and. It was nice. It was raining, and it was warm. Wow. Yeah, but the next day, I I jumped out of bed and put my coat on to get in here to turn on the heat. Because it was only 56 degrees in here. That's right. It was only 56 degrees in here. <laughs> Man, talk about somebody that can't put the, put up with the cold now. Uh, back in Ohio, when it was, um, we've had our furnace up there to kick out on us sometimes. And we'd wake up and it was like 40. And uh, it wasn't that bad. Wasn't as cold as it is no. here, huh? No, it, it's a totally different cold. It's the moisture in the air. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we're careful about what days we go geocaching because you could come home with... Uh, pneumonia? Yeah, <laughs> pneumonia. <laughs> Just because it's um, only 70 degrees. A lot of moisture in the air. There, there is. It gets blowed in from the ocean, mm-hmm. from the Gulf, Gulf side. Yep. Because we're on the Gulf side down here. And that's about the way the wind blows most of the time. From the west. Southwest or whatever. So, we don't have no stories this week waiting on somebody to send us their story where where you at people oh bummer come on we really 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 need some stories you know you could send that story by email if you want to type that much but then you can also um leave an audio and it's only a 90 second audio which which is a minute and a half and if you talk like me you'll need three or four minutes to tell a story but you can say quite a bit in a minute and a half and if you need more time you can send what you have and then send us another one right behind it and we'll connect it together and we can either air it as you speak or we can just listen to it ourselves and then tell the talk story about it uh, in in your place yeah let us know but go to speakpipe.com slash hiker james spelled J-A-M-Z or like they say over there on the other side of the pond Hiker Jams mm-hmm. yeah nah, it is Hiker jam, Jams but yeah I like it as Hiker James doesn't matter call me either one I'll answer now Crazy Critter 1966 yeah it's a little more tougher one you can just call her Crazy Critter if you want Ah, just call me crazy. I'll be happy with that. <laughs> oh, no. Don't call me critter, but you can call me crazy. Yeah, I don't care what you call me as long as you call me in time for supper. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Speaking of supper, we've been getting our fill of supper around here since we've been down here. Uh... <laughs> You know, I mean, what do you, when you're retired, what do you do? You get up in the morning, you wait till you're hungry, and you go eat. And you lay take down, a nap in the afternoon. <laughs> take a nap after you eat. When you wake up, it's time to eat again. <sighs> uh, so you get up and eat. 
Uh huh. We need to then go cashing more. Then you lay down and watch TV and fall asleep. No, you see, you do that. I'm awake yeah, the whole time. That. Yeah. Well, I'm making up for all them years I couldn't do that. Oh, there you go. Um. So now, um, I didn't always do this. I used to get up at four o'clock in the morning and go to work, and I wouldn't get to take a nap till five o'clock that night. Yeah, take a yeah. nap and wake up at eight o'clock, and then by twelve o'clock I gotta go back to bed now. But we did go geocaching more, I think, up in Ohio. We did. But yeah, I mean, give us a break. We're we've been here a uh, month, mm-hmm. almost. Yeah. Yeah. For from no month and a half, almost two. Almost months. two. Yeah, we we got here on the third of December. Mm-hmm. Or did we we left on the second? Or, yeah, I think it was. We left on Almost the two months. Almost two months we've been here. We've been out geocaching, but we just don't go as many places in one day because we want to try to stretch this out. Wanting to go to the couple of parks, uh, state parks, that um, has a lot of uh, geocaches in the, in the parks. So that way, I'm figuring if we go driving 30 miles... 40 miles, we, everything will be in the park, so we just walk to them, and I'll take a picnic basket and eat lunch with Yogi the Bear. And don't forget Boo Boo, too. Whoa, Boo Boo might be there, yeah. I think, oh, and the Pink Panther. The Pink Panther. Mm-hmm. Speaking of bears, did you hear, you heard about the bear that they caught? The, uh, 640-pound bear. Mm, very big bear. They caught it in the back of a mid, I think it was a middle school. I think that's what they said, yeah. Yeah, they, uh, they've been seeing it out there, and they went and lured it out with marshmallows and stuff, <laughs> chocolate, and all kinds of goodies. Come here, Yogi. And he probably gained a couple pounds just eating up to the, the cage. But anyway, they 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 uh they got him, and uh, there's another one that's been running around the neighborhood, not our neighborhood, but it's 28 miles from here. So they complained about this big bear, and it, it's probably about a 600. No, I think they said it was like 400 pound. So anyway, the bears are coming out because it's getting cooler down here. That's another reason why I don't want to go to your cash in. Nah, they won't bother you as long as you don't have food in your hand. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to go geocaching with food in my hand. <laughs> Please don't. You might attract other things, too. What was it? I heard this the other day. I can't remember where it was at, but somebody had said, I think it was on a little picture, it says, food in a Tupperware bowl. Why would I put food in a Tupperware bowl? You know you're not allowed to put food in a geocache. Yeah, I heard you say that too, but I don't know where you get it from either. I don't either, but it's it was a good one. Why would I put food in a Tupperware when you know that it's not supposed to be any food in a geocache? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Makes you think, huh? Yeah, it does. Yeah, I've been keeping my eye out on some geocaches down here in the stores. You know, like... Um, and big totes and and uh, big boxes, you know, the, what do you call them? The big plastic totes that, like, people pack stuff in. Plastic totes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess you got me on that one. <laughs> That's what I call them. Uh, yeah, okay, I've been keeping my eye on them out here, waiting for them to go on sale. Okay, well, hey, while we we're back on track and talking about geocaching, which is what this show is about to start with, <laughs> we get carried away. But hey, who doesn't? Ah, uh, if if you're interested in listening to some uh, other geocaching podcasts, we're gonna refer you to. The old beep geocaching podcast for the last two uh, interviews that they've had with uh, geocaching.com headquarters. And they had uh, 
part one was changes coming to geocaching.com and part two is an interview with Eric special media manager for geocaching.com with news on where I go lab caches the various apps and why the UK pays more for premium membership hmm yeah I didn't uh, I, I knew that but it kind of got set back in my head there where uh, yeah UK has to pay more for a membership and I'm, I'm gonna they just put this one out today the 25th I'm gonna listen to it and find out a little more about it so I might be a little bit late but we will run it by on uh, next week's show uh, I'm gonna try to get a hold of Mark see if I can uh, catch part of it and just throw it on the show there yeah and uh, edit the audio a little bit and uh, let other people listen to our shows hear about it yeah I think I don't I don't understand it but just thinking about it I don't know why it would cost more just because of where you're at yeah I don't understand that either it's all on the on the web so it's not like it cost them more to get it there yeah it doesn't make sense to me well we're gonna find out I'm gonna listen to that this week and the uh, duration of these video or of audios well wait a minute yeah they're doing the audios now they, they did one video and I think they can give that up but uh, I don't know um, part one is an hour and 26 minutes and part two is 50 minutes so hey they broke it down into two different parts and it sounds interesting though to uh, see what they were talking about part one it says an interview with Jamie the user insight analysis analyst yeah, from geocaching.com Northern Hampshire geocaching awards news on geotalk host spin doc some ask dr. D to offensive them the secrets of the NIMH batteries I don't think that's NICAD no NIMH batteries from GGH and A up me duck challenges the boys from OBEEP huh sounds like they got a little bit of variety into that one so anyway uh, we'll get back with that other part two there and about the price of geocaching.com and find out what they're making some changes on so there you have some more information on geocaching also in some geocaching news open caching North America has a new blog post zombie apocalypse geocaching and you can read about that on blog dot open caching dot us and that sounds kind of interesting too I know a lot of people are getting into the zombie caching hmm so um, also geopat 92's geocaching adventures he has um, introducing a new video series take a muggle geocaching so you can go to his uh, adventures and and listen to what he has to say we've got a lot of um, podcasters up this way I guess I should say over here in the States they have some pretty interesting articles and stuff that they go through I know we we mostly just talk but <laughs> people like to listen sometimes uh, to where if they miss anything they haven't really missed much now <laughs> That don't mean that we're not doing a good job, I don't think, are we? I think we're doing a decent job. You know, we're, we're, our listeners are... Staying uh, steady. Yeah, they're steady. And uh, so, you know, it, it, the, somebody's got to be wanting to hear it. Uh, I don't know. We don't have that many new listeners every week. No. So, okay. Uh, Geo Gear Heads. Um... Okay, so they, he's talking about this was uh, uh, talking about the uh, getting good coordinates with your iPhones and stuff. 
And so that's on Cash Amaniac. Cash And that's C A C H E A M A N I A C S dot com. I would have had a hard time to type that in without knowing how to spell it. Mm hmm. <laughs> so there's 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 a lot of different things going on. Uh, CashAdvance.com, well, they're putting out uh, podcasts. Uh, now I I guess they're advertising. They're, they're sponsored by Geo. Okay, let me let me back that up. Geocaching podcast is sponsored by CashAdvance.com. There we go. Wow, almost messed that one up. Uh, Geocaching podcast uh, is another podcast that you might want to listen to, and they have uh, that's Andy Hard Head Hard Hat Smith. I always have trouble with his name Mm -hmm. because I want to say Hard Hat, but it's Andy Head Hard Hat. Wow, what a name! Yeah, yeah. Uh, Scott Brooks and uh, a few of them are on there doing their podcasts. Cashing in the Northwest, that's another good one too. Uh, they're the only only podcast in the Northwest Territory of the United States. And you could catch them also at cashingnw.com. So, there's a variety of different things you can do to listen to other people and talk a little bit more uh, technology and things like that, where we just talk normal. Yeah, so. just don't forget to come back to us, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you get tired or bored of listening to all the technology and, and new uh, new ideas from uh, uh, satellites and things like that, come back and listen to us for a, another week. <laughs> Uh, we don't want to bore you out either, but yeah, you can listen to both, all, yeah. of, all of us in the same week. Oh, there's, yeah, you can. There's enough there. You can listen to a podcast every day. Yeah, that's and then true. And next week, start over again. Yeah. Give everybody a variety of choice there. Yeah. Now, we try to get our shows out by at least Sunday night. Some one Once, I think it was Monday morning. Yeah, we was a little late. Yeah, we was having problems with our uh, satellite and with our... That one week we ha- was having troubles with the studio because of the the signal from the satellite. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, same thing. It, we're blaming on the satellite. Yeah, it's the satellite's fault. Hey, I got me a a new um, portable recorder. Uh, one of these days when we get out there geocaching, we'll we'll have our headphones on and we'll sit there and do a little show with that. Mm, walking yeah. around with headphones, talking to her in her quarter, and people looking at us like, okay. Let's see what these people are doing. Ah, sh- leave us alone. We're doing a radio show for, for nature. Yes. We're <laughs> we're taking it all in. Yeah. So, th- there was, there's been a few people that's seen us cashing since we've been here, and mm-hmm. they don't seem to bother with what we're doing. No. They're... And they're they're uh, muggles. Yeah. And so, people pretty much mind your business down here. I'd say they do. Yeah. And it's not like up in Ohio when uh, when they see you lifting up a a light post skirt, they call nine one one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I'd, it was all a little bit spooky doing some cashing up there sometimes because there was a lot of uh, call-ins on, uh, like, uh, the, what they thought were a bomb threat. Oh, Turned yeah. out to be a geocache. <laughs> Remember that one guy uh, had a little story on there about they called the, the bomb squad in because they seen a suspicious tube in a tree fork and when the bomb squad got there, the one guy thought he knew what, what it was, but they took their safety things anyway. And he reached out there with his long pole, like a gripper. And he picks it up and sets it down on the ground. He gets looking at it. He realizes it's just a geocache. So he goes up there and he opens it up, takes out the log sheet, and he signs his name to it. He was a geocacher. 
Well, actually, he wrote Kaboom. Yeah, he and wrote, then his, he yeah, wrote his Kaboom name on there. Big letters, Kaboom. And it was all over the news. Yeah, and so then he signed his geocaching name on it. And uh, so it's nice to know. Now, there, there's been some that they've recognized it as a geocache, and they blew it up anyway just mm. to have something to do. Well, I think that's why they joined the bomb squad, is so they can blow things <laughs> up. Yeah, they... They, uh, legally. Yeah, exactly, legally. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, there's there's a lot of stories out there. Maybe we can find us a couple of stories, new ones, by next week. I just go searching for geocaching news and pick it out and read about it. Who knows, maybe next week we'll get to go to the Seminole State Park and look for that Christmas cache. Yep, the Christmas cache. Oldest cache in... Florida. That you've been mentioning for the last two months. Yeah. Well, you know, they uh, they moved it, finally. I mean, not really finally, but they moved it as planned. And I think it's like 280 feet closer to the path. Yeah, it's still in the park. But there's so many people putting comments on there how nice that trail is and everything. And people that do go, like you, you know, with their camera... Mm -hmm. take some really nice pictures of that and there's I was surprised at the, how nice the trails look oh yeah yeah because um, you would think that down here they would just be like a couple of these little parks that we went to but mm -hmm. all these uh, don't tell me I did away with that one Oh, this is my watch list. I think I did get away with it. Give it a, I took it off of there. I was getting, every day I was getting emails from people that's finding it. People that drive three, four hours to find it. Wow. And then walk, was it a mile? Yeah. A mile to it and a mile back. Mm -hmm. But they really talk, you know, about how... They go past the little pond with the alligators. They they see rattlesnakes and and they see the black snakes and they see odd kinds of birds and things. So really, it's uh, kind of like a nice little walk there. I think. Okay, here's the deal. Here. If we're gonna be going out there with rattlesnakes, you're gonna be carrying me on your back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like rattlesnakes. Wear your big, tall boots. I don't have any that tall. I don't think they, uh, they're they seeing them, but they're, I think they're seeing them at a distance. Yeah, because I that, hope so. The, well, you've seen them, some pictures of the trail. It's nice and flattened out. Yeah, I don't like and, the black snakes. I don't mind the gators as long as they stay way out. Rattlesnakes, uh-uh. Well, you didn't mind that little uh, ringneck snake that you... Uh, that's not a rattlesnake, honey. Oh, that's just a little ringneck. Yeah, but you still, you picked... You took it from me and you played with it. Yeah, but it was small and cute. <laughs> Rattlesnakes are not small and they're not cute. Okay, well, maybe we'll see something else out there then. There we go. Like the Christmas <clears throat> and a mile, cache. A mile walk. If you think, you know, we've went out geocaching before, you know, where we've gotten four in a row. Well, that last one, it, uh, wow, now I can't even think of it. Serenity Park. That was probably about a mile and a half around. You said, "Yeah." So yeah. I could, I could probably do that too. And that one up there in Ohio, we did that. That was a park and grab. We walked a mile. <laughs> park and grab my <laughs> backside. It was a park and grab after we got there. <laughs> well, it was a park and grab. You just parked in the wrong spot for us to grab yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, that was cold that day. <sighs> It's like, uh, what, 34 degrees and 10 mile an hour wind, snow, sleet, hit us in the face, and we parked a mile away from it and didn't realize it. I was, you know, I mean, there's a difference between 1.0 and, and, a, and a thousand feet. Yeah. And I thought we was a thousand feet, and that's still not a parking grab. No. But after we got there, oh, that was a long way, way back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Next time we'll take more. Uh, attention to what the GPS says on there. 
Hey, you're the navigator of the GPS, not me, so it's your fault. Well, at least now I got the one in the car. The yeah, G- that one's better. The GPS in the car will take us right up to it. Yeah, that's nice. And that, that's the problem because it showed it through the woods here, you know, going off this way. They're right up there. And I thought, mm-hmm. hey, let's, here's the bike trail. We'll just walk to it and get it. It can't be that far. It's a parking drive. Yeah, it wasn't that far. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what would have really made me mad if, if it was missing? Oh, after that, being yeah. that cold and that windy, oh, yeah. But we found it. It was, uh, what do you call that, uh, Altoid? Yeah, the little Altoid can. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that thing looked like it was as old as I was. It might have been. Yeah, <laughs> but it, it still worked. It was a magnet, but... Yeah, it, it, it was fun. All of, all the caches we went to have been fun. Except mm. Lock 9. Ugh, go ahead and bring up Lock 9 again. <laughs> you like that one so well. Oh, yeah, I just love Lock 9. That one was, what, five times we went through it? And we looked at it twice. Yeah, right at it. Never even registered that that was it. No. Nope. It was aggravating, but we kept going back. I was new to geocaching then, too. I had no idea. Yeah. But then after you said, hey, look, I'm going, well, yeah, that looks real funny there. Well, if you want to get more informed about what geocaches look like, go to YouTube and search geocaching. Mm-hmm. And you'll see all kinds of videos, all kinds of containers and different things and what people show you that what a geocache container looks like that's uh, unique and, and all that. So, well, that's how I learned most of it, and there's a lot of geocaching containers out there that I'd like to have and put out myself, but, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put any out down here. I'm going to have more fun just looking for them. Mm-hmm. So, hey, uh, we're coming to the end of the show there. Uh, we've been in it 42 minutes, and yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that time goes by when you're talking. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna close it up for this week, and don't forget about the words for for the the word puzzle that I'm putting together, a word search, and uh, we'll send it to you when we when we get it done. If you send us an email, we'll send it back in a reply, and let us know how you did on it. So until next week, uh, same time and maybe a different place maybe different time depending on when you listen to the show true but anyway we're, we're going to do it again next weekend and we hope to see uh hope to hear from everybody that's listened to it that'd be a lot of emails wouldn't it yeah boy that'd be nice wow man we could spend the whole week opening up the emails and reading where they're yeah. from and what maybe about caching adventures with their little words that's it okay we gotta go so until next week Keep on cashing. There you no, go. No, 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 no. No, it's cash you <laughs> later. I <laughs> got you on that one. All right. Bye. Bye.